Greetings from the mission group that just came back from Ghana. Yes, we actually did all come back. We even brought Pastor Mueller back for you, as you can see this weekend. Now, while we were there, we saw 1,809 people in five days at the eyeglass clinics. Yes, that's a new number for us, a remarkably big number, but it was great fun for everybody there. Also, as you can see now, Salman Iagri finally got to be ordained as a pastor. Now, this is the first time an ordination in Ghana has ever taken place outside of the capital city, Accra. So this is a first for them, and as the celebration goes on, you can tell they enjoyed it immensely. Next weekend, we'll give you a better recap of what we did and how we did it. This summer, the Allegra Bells went on a tour from July 8th through the 13th. We play concerts, we um, serve other people. Sometimes we're playing for little kids. This summer we did a VBS and we played for um, kids from like preschool to, I believe, fourth grade. And sometimes we play for teenagers. Um, sometimes we play for adults or older adults. So every year on the trip we have a chance to um, do a service project and this year we were able to help at a VBS uh, that was actually held in a public school. Allegro itself helped um, in two areas at the VBS. We had two um, different like, kind of sections set up. We had one section that had kind of a skit that told a Bible story and with the bells playing along. And we also had an interactive um, bell, like learning the techniques for the little kids. On the trip, we got to go to Holy Cross Lutheran Church and we packed bags filled with food for um, the people in the community. And we also put like a stuffed frog in there and with the wristbands was fully rely on God. We took over a thousand pounds of food to the school and a lot of people were touched by that, that we had taken our time to fill these bags for these people in the community who needed them. Towards the end of the trip, we headed down to the Metropolitan Church and School and we were going to do a concert for some of the teenagers in the community. We asked some of them to come up and play with us and so we had to encourage them a little bit but then finally we got them up and once they started playing, like you could tell that they were really enjoying it. And I think it just goes to show that music can really touch people in their lives. Mrs. Muller has always been a big, a big person in my life, and I think all of us. And I'm so thankful for everything she's done for us and um, for all the other opportunities she's going to be able to give other people. From July 18th to July 27th, we're heading out to serve in the name of Jesus. We'll be heading to Shimokin, Pennsylvania to serve others in a coal mining town that's very poor. Won't you pray for us that we make a difference in his name? Follow us on Facebook at 2014 Mission. <laughs> One, two, three. Shabbat